communicating on video. Part of our lives. In some countries, people have more television than mobile phones, cars, refrigerators, and even bathtubs. The speaker will be attempting a project from advanced manual communication, communicating on video. He will be attempting an editorial, which is a prepared statement directed to the viewer who takes a positive or negative stand in relation to a specific issue. Market, for example. May I ask his evaluator to read out the objectives? The speaker is attempting project one from the manual communicating on video. The title of the project is Straight Talk. <coughs> the objectives of the project are to effectively present an opinion or viewpoint in a short time, to simulate giving a presentation as part of a video broadcast, the time is 3 minutes, plus or minus 30 seconds, so for the timer, 2 green, 2 and a half angle, and 3 red. All the rest is good. Ladies and gentlemen, the speaker is a chart accountant by profession. His passion is for sports analysis, music, especially rap and hip hop. I'm sure that's how he vexes his stress. Please welcome TM Stephen <coughs> George. One out of five senior citizens above the age of 60 are abused, either physically or emotionally. We are in a crisis. My name is Steven and you are listening to Touching Point. Our attitude towards seniors in India is sad to the point being almost hilarious. It's amusing on how we stay detached and take a distant view of the seniors as if it's a face that we will never reach. We are so consumed in our daily lives that other than vaguely acknowledging them once in a while, we rarely try to emotionally connect. If there is one thing every senior citizen, man or woman, craves for, it's two words, emotional connect. All they expect from the current generation is a little love and attention, and they would gladly and graciously ride into the sunset of their lives. But then, the reality is harsh. Don't we hear stories almost daily on how an aging mother a father, and sometimes both have been abandoned by their family. Let alone disrespecting and ignoring our elders, downright abuse is very prevalent and happening around us. We just need to open our eyes and see. According to a study done by HelpAge India covering 20 cities, some very disturbing facts emerged. More than one-fifth of the elderly experience abuse nationally. Four-fifths of them live with family and 35% of them is reported to be facing it on a daily basis. The problem today is that due to rapid urbanization, competitive lifestyle and an insatiable desire to get ahead, we don't have time since we have to cope up with work. Your wife is busy trying to cope with work at office or at home. Your children are busy at school and later trying to cope up with homework. So where does this leave your parents or grandparents? What do they do? Where do they go? Who do they speak to? But the question really is, do you really care? Before you know it, you will be the next senior citizen. It's the only fact that you can be sure of. Let's wake up and be more sensitive to the elders around us, be it at home or in the neighborhood or in a public place. Remember, it's your turn next. Till we meet again, this is Stephen signing off. 
Goodbye and good night.